Oh, yeah. Did we know this was happening this morning, or is this kind of a... I knew. Okay. Yeah. yeah, we knew it was happening. Of course, it's weather dependent. So, until it actually happens, we couldn't say, hey, it's installed today. Right. Stay out, stay out of that deal there, so I don't squint. Did this just happen like ten minutes ago? Yeah, you're 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 just seeing the completion of that. You see, it's just drying. They've actually cleaned the front of it, so it's just getting finished up. Hey, Max, how are you? Man, I'm so happy. The end of adultery and stealing at the state capitol today. Yeah. No legislators are able to do it again. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about this monument and, and this morning and how you're feeling today. Well, I'm actually excited about it because this law was passed April the 7th of 2015, the Arkansas Ten Commandments Monument, Act 1231. And so for me, I'm grateful to the Arkansas legislature and Governor Asa Hutchinson has made this possible. In addition to that, um, I'm also thankful to the American History and Heritage Foundation. They have actually made this contribution and this donation uh, to the state of Arkansas. And so I want to say thank you to everyone that donated to the American History and Heritage Foundation have made this possible. In fact, uh, they have committed themselves to put up Ten Commandments monuments in every state, every city, and every county in this nation that wants one. And so over time, uh, I was happy to be involved with them to make this possible for the people of the state of Arkansas. I mean, we just heard it going past us. This has been, there's been no shortage of controversy over this in the past few months specifically. Did you ever think this would happen? Did you think that this is, after all of it, it's a relief? Kind of talk about both sides of that. I think it's wonderful. We did not have a monument here that actually highlighted the historical moral foundation of law. And one of the interesting things is this monument is an exact replica of the monument at the Texas State Capitol, which was confirmed by the United States Supreme Court in 2005, Van Orden versus Perry. In addition, as you know how people will try to do things to try to belittle the monument and what it is. Not only is this an exact replica, it's actually from the same reservoir of granite in South Dakota that that monument is made from. So there's literally no difference whatsoever uh, between that monument and this monument. And it's important to realize in the United States Capitol, when you walk in the front doors of the U.S. Supreme Court building, you walk in at the lower left and lower right on the doors are the Ten Commandments actually etched on those doors. You open up the doors to the chamber and above the head of the United States Supreme Court Justice is actually Moses uh, that is sitting there with the Ten Commandments. And so if it's good enough for the United States Capitol, it's good enough for the state of Arkansas and we're very happy to see the law fulfilled. Okay. Good and dry. Sounds good to me. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate it.